Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pick up where we left off. You should have already installed your blog or maybe you're just following along to see how this whole process works. But what you would do next is you're going to want to customize it and you're going to want to start adding a custom menu, a custom header, uh, actually putting together a front page, all of that stuff, maybe your pricing, whichever. I'm going to show you all the components because you really need to learn how the whole WordPress platform works and then you can pretty much do whatever you want. All right, and um, I'm going to stick with a simple theme, but I'm going to show you how you can customize the themes and stuff like that too. Uh, you know, and pick other themes. Uh, but the first thing we want to do here is just make sure that we log back into our admin area, and you can always do that by just going to your website address and then go forward slash and then wp hyphen admin, and then that will bring up the login window. Then obviously you have to put in your username and password, and then click login. Now we're back in the admin panel. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is how we can customize the header and also how you can choose a different theme if you wish to. All right, so just go to appearance right here, and then you can see the options we have. We have themes, widgets, which we haven't talked about yet, which we will. Menus, again, we haven't talked about that yet, we will. Theme options, header, background, and editor. Editor, you're really not going to want to play around with. That's more of coding and HTML and CSS scripts and all that type of stuff. So I don't rare, I don't, I don't really go in there much at all. Um, so let's just concentrate on right now going to our theme options or themes. Let's go to themes, and then this is the themes that are installed. These are the ones that come automatically installed from WordPress. Now, if we want to go and install a different theme, all we have to do is go to install themes, and then. You can go ahead and you can filter out what you want and what you don't want. You can go ahead and find a, a blog that uh, has one column, two columns, three columns, and so on. Different color schemes, uh, features um, that you want in there. You know, some of this gets overwhelming. I usually, if I'm looking for a theme, um, obviously I usually pay for one. But if you're not, if you're going to keep it simple, um, I would just go in here, go to either newest or featured, and then you'll find the newest. Um, ones that have been posted. So let's just go ahead and see what they have. And these are all free to use. And usually it's because they're putting out something that they have a paid version as well that you can use. Um, I've used many of uh, free themes in the past and they work really well. So like this one right here is pretty simple looking, but all we would have to do is we can preview it. We can click on this right here and then it'll preview our current uh, data that we have in there. So the other cool thing is, is if we already have a theme going and a year down the line we want to update our theme and make it a whole different redesign, all of our content is going to stay intact. All right. Um, so if I like this theme, I can go ahead and click install. So let's just go ahead and install it. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get this little uh, window and basically says it's installing the theme, successfully installed, and then you can do a live preview. You can activate it. All right, so now that it's been activated, it shows us that this is the one that's activated. These are the ones that are available. So I didn't get rid of the one that I was using before. I just basically said I want this one to be the one I'm using. These are the ones that I still have available. And the more that you add, you'll just keep adding them into almost like your little theme library. All right, so now if I want to go and see what this theme looks like, I can just go right up here and just click on Visit Site. And then this is what it looks like. There's no header graphic, just has this. And it's, you know, basically this is the sample post. This is the one post that I did the other day. And I can just go to home again, and then it brings me here. Or I can go to this post, and uh, then I can see that that's what the post looks like. So it's a very, very simple theme. All right, so I don't necessarily like this theme. I'm not going to use this theme. I just wanted to show you how you can add a, a theme. So now what you would do is you want to go back to your dashboard, or you can go back into themes. I'm going to go to dashboard, go down here to appearance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here though and I'm going to select this one right here. I'm just going to activate it. That's all you have to do is just click on activate and you can activate any of your themes that you have in your library. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I mean the themes that come included can be customized uh, to where you can still make them look unique just by adding a new header graphic and uh, you know your images obviously and everything that you put on it. But really we want something that's going to be simple to use for us but also simple for the viewer to navigate and to also load. Uh, WordPress has designed this to be very, very easy to load um, 
when you're loading it up into a, a web browser. So you want to keep that in mind too. So I would, for starters, just work with this theme right here, the 2011 theme, and just use this one just so at least you can familiarize yourself with it and you don't have to worry about all of the other customizing features because every theme that you have will have a whole bunch of other customization uh, features that you can use and we're not going to get into that in this lesson or any future lessons until we get everything set up alright so what I want to do here is I do want to uh, put a, a different header graphic in there and the other thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of um, the uh, the text above the header alright so let's just go back to our site and you'll see something here let me just click on visit site you'll see that this little bar up here stays there so we can edit this at any time see we can get quick access to everything so here's what we want to do we want to get rid of this up here we want this graphic to be different and what's gonna happen is when we get rid of this it's gonna slide this header graphic up because that's what I want I want this to go more towards the top and get rid of this because what I'm gonna do is put the graphic with my logo and my name in this uh, in this window right here alright so let's do that so let's go to uh, we can go right here to customize let's click on that and then from here it's gonna have header image click on that and then what we can do here is click on this and then what we're gonna see is a little drop a file here or select a file alright now I can go ahead and select a file let me back up one second because what I want to show you, which I should have showed you before, let me go to the dashboard. And again, these are the same ways to get to the same area. They just make shortcuts. But this actually shows you the dimensions. If I go to appearance and I go to themes right here, I can go right here to where it says header. All right, And where it says header, it's going to show you the size that this needs to be. All right. It says you can upload a custom header image to be shown at the top of your site instead of a default one, and it gives you the dimensions: 1,000 pixels wide, and then suggested height is 288. Now you can make it smaller; it, it'll just skew it, so it's going to be that size. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this little box here to browse and then upload, or I can choose an image that's in my media library, which I haven't uploaded any images yet. So let's just go browse, and I'm going to go to uh, the one I just created which is the one right here which is best digital backdrops and I just created this in Photoshop and then what I'm gonna do is just click upload and there is my graphic now you can see that if I had a different size in there I can crop it to where I want it see I can crop this in if I want so it's you know being shown that way but it's gonna keep the constraints I'm gonna make sure because I I went ahead and I used the exact dimensions that they gave me and I'm just gonna say skip cropping publish image as is and then there we go so now I go back down to the bottom here and the other thing I want to do is get rid of the text on top which is right here show header text with your image uncheck that and then right here we're gonna hit save changes and then we're gonna go back and visit our site and let's see what it looks like and there it is there is my website now look how clean that is you know look how clean that is that's technically the home page of the uh, of the new website all right, and we have the about us page and the home page because we haven't done any customization with our menus. All right, so that's pretty much how you go ahead and select a theme, and then also how you can make your theme more customized by adding your own custom graphic on top and that's as simple as it is to do that so that's going to wrap up this short video in the next lesson we'll be going through how to create your pages and your posts and how to create your menus so if you want more information about this if you're not on our NPB subscriber list right now and you're watching this on YouTube you should head over to newportraitbiz.com and sign up to our email newsletter and our um, posts and updates because we have a ton of information that we give out for free on our blog and we give that to all of our NPB subscribers and we'll keep you up to date as soon as we release new videos. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this lesson. Once again, I really enjoyed making it for you. I hope you got a lot out of it and I'll talk to you soon.